every time, let me, let me, let me give you this much too. Every time you have a late fee, it's ten dollars. Right? Example, just for whole number's sake. Power bill, gas bill, water bill, right? Cell phone bill. Let's say all your late fees together is 50 bucks. Every month you late. 50 times 12 is 600. People say, oh, Brian, there's no problem, man. A little $10 late fee, you tripping. You tripping. I'm not tripping at all. I, look, it's not the $10. I'm telling you how capitalism works. You had a late fee on five things. That's $50. You multiply that by 12, that's $600. You take the 600 and multiply that by how many years you've been late. Let's say you had a habit of that for about 10 years. That's $6,000. Now, you take the $6,000 and put that in your retirement account for the number of years you've been working, those late fees cost you about $49,000. But it, here's the cool thing about it. It's your money. It's your money. They robbed you $10 at a time, and they wanted you to say, oh, it's no big deal. I know it's due on the 12th. Oh, it's just $10. I'm going to pay it on the 13th. Yeah, I know. It's just $10. But it's $10 times each bill times 12 months times the number of years you've been working, times 8%, and that's what you lost. It's lost opportunity cost. So let them keep nickel and diamond you if you want to. It's your money. That's the cool thing about this country. You can do what you want to do. You pay the price to get your paycheck. So don't let me and nobody else tell you what to do with your money. I'm just telling you how money works. Lost opportunity cost means $5,000 can cost you a million dollars. Why? Because money never stops working. Money only stops working for you. So the, the auto company in this particular case took the money that you gave them on the front end after you saved $3,000 when really they made $16,000. Then they take the money they made off the back end and they put that in their account to go lend other people so they can buy cars too with guess what? With your money. That's how it works. Look guys, everything you see around you was paid for by other people's money. Your house, your, your, your mortgage is other people's money. That's other people's 401ks that the mortgage company borrowed from, right? Hoping you don't foreclose because that money belongs in somebody's 401k. Everything you see, every restaurant you go in, the employees, the building itself, the lights, all that money is leveraged. That's money that people put in banks. That's how our economy works. The question becomes how much money can you get by providing a service or a product so that people will give money to you and you expect to receive a quality profit from that. See, it's nothing wrong with capitalism. Nothing as long as you aren't hurting people in the process. The definition, the definition of business is to provide a quality product at an affordable price and you expect to receive a quality profit. As long as you're taking care of the consumer and they're spending money with you and you're not taking advantage of their ignorance, then there's nothing wrong with capitalism. It's when they don't teach this in schools. It's when they don't teach, the banks don't tell you that you're paying for three cars, knowing they got you on the front end and on the back end. It's when your student loan um, providers don't tell you that you're paying for a lot of kids to go to college and they're gonna put you in a job that won't allow you to pay the student loan back. And it's when the commercials don't tell you that we're, or mortgage companies don't tell you we're gonna give you a house that you can't afford because we're basing it on your gross and not your net. Now you're gonna struggle every single month that's when it's unfair. And believe it or not, that happens to people all day, every day. So let's talk solution before we go. How do we fix this? How do you get the right mindset to change the situation so it's not so problematic for you? Here's the first thing you got to do. 